Hey y'all, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. We have a fun one today. I'm doing a self-care routine. I'm doing my skincare routine. I'm meeting up with one of my fave YouTubers, Peyton Marie Charles, later on at Baccarat for a few drinks and then I think we're having dinner at a Red Rooster, which is a black owned soul food restaurant. So it's gonna be a great day, but we are gonna start with some skincare because your girl's skin has been going through it with the stress of buying this new house. Don't forget, I'm gonna make a whole video about that soon, so make sure you are subscribed. This portion of the video is sponsored by Beauty Counter. I've been using a few of their products for a few years now, and so I'm really happy to be partnering with them on this portion of the video. To get my skin right, I'm using this Beauty Counter Reflect Effect AHA Mask, and I can't wait. It helps with kind of lifting up the dead skin, lightening, dark marks. It smells luxurious, okay? And it feels very kind of tacky, almost like a gel. So let me just walk you guys through what I do with this mask products I follow it up with that are also from Beauty Counter. Let's do it. All right guys, so you want to start with clean, dry skin. I literally just wash my face with a little bit of water. We are going to take the Beauty Counter Reflect Effect AHA Smoothing Facial Mask and this super cool little tool that comes with it. I'm gonna use the spatula in to just dip right into here and evenly spread this all over my face. This feels very soothing and very satisfying. I love this little tool. So after you put this on, you're gonna leave it on for about 10 minutes. You can use this portion of this little spatula to exfoliate while gently removing the mask or you can use this side as well. So I try to do this mask like once a week just when I feel like my skin just needs a refresh and also when I'm, I really want my skin to be nice and smooth and like plump and hydrated, this is a wonderful mask. By the way, I will be linking all of the products I'm using from Beauty Counter down below in the description box. So if you wanna check it out, you know, have a very luxurious skincare, self-care routine for yourself, you can check it out. All right, it's been, 10 minutes, it's a little tacky. All right, so my face is nice and wet. I'm gonna go in here and just get all of that extra product off while exfoliating. Oh, this feels so good. I feel like my skin is super clean. And like there's no dead skin left. I can already kind of tell a difference on my forehead as well. Get my neck as well. All right, let's wash this off and I'm gonna show you guys the final product. Wow, do you guys see the difference? Look at my face. Look at my skin. It's glowing. Oh my God, and it's so smooth. Okay, so now that my skin is super smooth and glowing and incredible, I'm gonna moisturize my skin. Always remember you need to moisturize after you do any kind of exfoliation. And I am using Beauty Counter Counter Match Adaptive Moisture Lotion. So what I like about this is it's very light, yet super moisturizing. It barely has a smell, which I love. And it's also so light that you could layer makeup over it. Don't forget y'all, you should do the same skincare for your neck as you do for your face because your neck be telling all your secrets. And for the final step in my Beauty Counter skincare routine, we're gonna go in with a little SPF. This is the Counter Sun Daily Sheer Defense for the Face um, SPF. 25. You need SPF, okay? If you don't want your dark marks to get darker, 
and you're going out in the sun, that's exactly what's going to happen. Also, when you're using an exfoliant, like an Ed Che mask, such as the Reflect Effect, you need to follow that up with sunscreen, especially if you're going outside. So, let's put a little bit of this on. Trust me, your skin will thank you. And the good thing about this is that it doesn't leave a film. It literally just melts into your skin. And it's super light as well. It barely has a smell, which is great. All right. Skin on fleek. Special thanks to Beauty Counter for sponsoring this portion of the video. Definitely head down to the link in the description box and get yourself the Beauty Counter Reflect Effect AHA mask. It's incredible. Look at my skin. Period. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of the day. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes while I do a little bit of work. I need to do some fashion um, Insta stories. And what else do I need to do? We'll see y'all. It's a lot. Let's go. Hey y'all. So I just did a quick supernatural face. I'm going to do a campaign for Mark Fisher. I have to create some Insta stories for them showing off two pairs of shoes. Y'all know I love shoes. So let me show you the two pair of shoes. They are super colorful and fun and like perfect for spring and summer. We have this pair from Mark Fisher, which are these like lilac, lavender, kitten heels. And they do have that kind of like poofy, a strap here you know they're like almost like flip-flops but with a heel they are very very comfortable and true to size and the price on these are great these also come in a ton of different colors so i'll link these down below in case any of you are interested now look i know i told y'all i'm not really a purple type of girl but now i love purple okay so let's keep that in mind <laughs> i mean taste change very quickly i'm quickly becoming a purple girl as you can see these have that thick plush look super comfortable go with your normal size i'm usually a us size 10 i got the 10 in these they fit perfectly next up i got these ah! orange block heeled sandals from mark fisher the block heel is super cool and also makes it super easy to walk in these. The heel is like a triangle. They are really neat and I love that the heel has white on the bottom so it's kind of like a color block. Like you get the orange and you get the white. It has a cool little ankle strap and then a toe strap with that square toe which is super popular. And also the strap has that poofy aspect as well. Like poofy things are just in whether it's a poofy bag poofy shoes but these are very very comfortable again got the size 10 they fit perfectly and the heel is not so high either you can walk around all day in these i'm styling one look with both of these pairs of shoes and then i'm going to ask my audience like which shoe do they like with the outfit best and then i'm going to be linking both of these in the stories so that's where we're about to do i'm about to set up my little corner i have this corner in my office that's pretty white and bare I made sure I like left some white space in this place because in my Harlem apartment I have no white space to do like try on hauls and things it was always a struggle I made sure I left a nice white wall here I'm gonna put on my outfit I'm gonna record myself with shoe one I'm gonna record myself with shoe two I'm gonna ask my audience which one they like the best and then I'm gonna link both pair uh, in the stories for people to try. I'm gonna link these down below. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit behind the scenes of me setting up and getting ready to record these stories. And then I also need to record some stories for Farfetch and I'll show you the two items I'm gonna be advertising for them. And then we are going to relax. <laughs> we gonna chill a little bit because um, I feel like tonight when I meet up with my girl Peyton, we are gonna have a fun time. All right, so let me put on my outfit and then I'll get ready. And anytime I do stories like these, I always try and wear like really eye-popping outfits because I feel like that really grabs people's attention when they're watching the stories. Just a little pro tip. All right, so before I get started filming, I just wanna check the brief and make sure I'm doing everything correctly so I do not have to do this again. These stories are due at 3 p.m. and right now it's 12 30. to be fair i just got the shoes yesterday but this is how 
things kind of turn around, have to be turned around really quickly for some brands. All right, let me make sure to look over the brief. I really love that this is really super quick and easy. Let me put on my outfit. All right, guys, so here's the look. I'm wearing this Colt Gaia top. It's white, it's incredible, it's pleated. I love this top. It comes in a few different colors, so I'll be sure to link it below. And I'm just wearing a pair of my favorite, like, high-waisted mom jeans from And Other Stories. They don't sell these anymore, I believe, at And Other Stories, but I'll be sure to link the top and similar denim jeans. So I'm just going to set up on this wall here, um, set up my camera because I usually record like campaign Insta stories on my Canon G7X uh, vlogging camera. Basically, I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to record my stories. I will insert a few of them. Um, because they're probably already up by the time this video goes live but we will see which shoe looks the best with this outfit let me know what you think all right y'all so i just finished shooting some stories for farfetch i'm wearing this jacquemus dress and this stunning jacquemus bag I will link both down below. I should have a new Farfetch coupon code that I'll put in the description box for you guys. I'll give you a better look. This was for a TikTok I had to do and for some Insta stories as well. Farfetch is definitely one of my favorite places to shop. I also have an edit over on their website. So if you and I have similar tastes, you wanna see what I would buy from Farfetch, definitely check out my Farfetch edit. I will put a link to it down below in the description box. All right, guys, so here is the full look. It's this beautiful Jacquemus yellow dress and matching bag. I just paired it with my pink Bottegas for the stories, but I'm wearing, I believe, a size 38, which is a six, and it fits pretty well. I would probably wear like a cute little bra underneath, maybe like a lacy cute number, but it's pretty much stays, so very happy about that. If this dress is still available, I will link it down below. I will also link the bag. I actually just bought this similar shape bag in green, but it has a top handle. I believe I got that from Farfetch as well, or maybe my Teresa. I feel like yellow is one of those amazing colors on my skin tone, so really loving this. And in case you missed it, here is the green Jacquemus bag that I got in recently. I also did a reel sharing a few of my favorite bags over on my Instagram. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram so you don't miss all of my cool things. All right, it's time to throw these out. <laughs> my lilies have gone to glory. I'm gonna do like one of those Sunday reset videos, but actually for me, the reset day is Monday. Next Monday, I'm gonna do a Monday reset to kind of show you how I start the week fresh, cleaning my house, grocery shopping, getting flowers, getting my house in order, looking good, smelling good, just all the things that I do to prepare for the work week ahead, which for me usually starts on Mondays. So I'll do that video if you guys are interested. I've been seeing a few people do it. I think it's a great concept. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take these pieces off because these are loans. <laughs> I don't get to keep these, unfortunately. I mean, I could if I just wanted to buy them, but I'm gonna package these back up. I have another package I have to send to um, a brand. And so I'm actually gonna head to the post office and do that. And then I'm gonna come back relax i definitely want to watch a little bit more of snowfall i've been really into the show i've just started season four it's incredible definitely check it out if you're looking for something to, if you're looking for something to binge watch on hulu it's so good and then i'll get ready for my evening out tonight with my girl peyton so stay tuned hey y'all so i have gotten myself together i ripped my closet apart trying to find an outfit to wear I just really don't know what the vibes are going to be. I'm heading back to Baccarat Restaurant Cafe in the Miami Design District. I'm meeting up with my girl Peyton Marie Charles. If you're a PayPal, give your girl a little hands up emoji down below. I'm very excited to meet her. For the lip, it's my favorite NARS Mysterious Red. I'll put on my Chanel um, earrings. The dress is actually an oldie but a goodie from Alexa Chung. I never actually wore it, but I'm loving 
the, the net vibes and the white underneath. I'm probably gonna wear my white Bottega Mules and then just carry my white Bottega bag as well. I'll give you guys a full look in a moment. We're gonna call an alto and we're gonna head to meet Peyton. So excited to meet her. Like she is amazing. I love watching her videos. They're so, so good. Edited to perfection. She is living out her dreams, inspiring so many people, including me. So make sure to check her YouTube channel out, Peyton Marie Charles. I know she's trying to make it to um, 100,000 subscribers as well. She's very, very close. So I would love it if you guys would go check her out and help her to reach her goal. So of course, since I'm heading back to Baccarat, I was actually just there in the previous vlog, like yesterday, I am going to wear my Baccarat Rouge 540. It's my favorite, it smells incredible. It's only fitting. I'm gonna mix that with a tiny bit of Jo Malone Vetive Golden Vanilla. This is so good. I'll link this down below as well. I'm only gonna do like, three pumps, and then I'm gonna top it off with a pump of Lalabo Tay Noir. I'm gonna let that all marinate. All right, so let me grab my bag, and we're off. All right, here's a better look at the look. We have here. Hey y'all. She is looking stunning. Thank you. We are See, here. I just immediately got that. <laughs> Why is the same thing? It's so crazy. So we are here at Baccarat. We're gonna have some drinks, and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. You guys know what I'm getting.
Good morning, everyone. I am getting myself together after waking up bright and early, putting on my workout gear, and doing an hour long workout with my girl, Life with Glory B. If you want to join our classes, just DM her on Instagram or comment on one of her photos and make sure you add her. I'm actually watching one of her <laughs> YouTube videos right now where she talks about how exercising and becoming like a, a Zoom exercise instructor has like changed her life. And I'm just so happy for her because I remember she really got me through the pandemic. You know, I was going through it alone in my apartment. I needed some kind of camaraderie. And so we just started working out together and the workouts were kicking my butt and they were so good and they were getting me in amazing shape. And I told her that she should start a class and she's been going hard at it ever since. And I really thank her for like her encouragement and for, you know, body by glow y'all definitely check her out and check out her youtube channel too it's the same life with glory b if you go to my main youtube page scroll down to follow my friends she's there as well along with everyone else i'm loving on youtube all right guys so i'm getting myself together i'm actually heading back to the fendi cafe with my girl Peyton Marie Charles we she definitely wants to go to the Fendi Cafe we are probably going to do a little bit of shopping and I'm running a tiny bit late so just getting myself together I feel like my makeup looks incredible ever since I used the beauty counter AHA mask my skin y'all y'all gotta y'all gotta check out that mask I've linked it down below I used some of the moisturizer before um, my makeup and um, a little bit of the sunscreen during my workout too because I work out with the windows open but I want to go ahead and rewind it back to the other night it's actually a few days later but the other night I met up with Peyton Abri she is an MUA she also has a YouTube channel and we all met up um, and Brie brought her friend as well we met up at Joya Beach I have been wanting to go to Joya Beach forever they were closed for a while, but they've been reopened and they actually had an event with a swimwear brand. They invited me and I was unable to go. So in the future, I am probably doing like a media lunch there. where We'll go more into depth and see it maybe like during the day. But last night we all met up for dinner there and it was incredible. So I'm going to rewind it back to that footage. I'm going to let all of that play. I'm going to come back. We're going to recap my Julia Beach experience, and then we're gonna get ready to head to Fendi Cafe this morning. Hey y'all, so I've just gotten myself together. I'm actually heading to um, Julia Beach. It's my first time going. I'm meeting Peyton there and um, another young lady who's also a content creator and an MUA. So I'm gonna quickly uh, show you my outfit for the night and then I'm gonna call an alto and we're gonna head out. Okay y'all, so here is the look. I'm wearing this ASOS dress, it's super old. This is the green linen dress. I also have this in a like satin orange a satin green and a like cream linen they used to keep making these but i think they've stopped making them um, but i will link a few similars from asos down below the shoes my favorite tibby mules this bag is from cult gaia i believe no 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 it's from stod i've had it forever i love the details on it and the pop of orange and the earrings are of course Andrea Iyama who is a black owned designer or a black owned business and a black designer so that is the look for Joya Beach I think if we end up going like down to the water I can easily just kick off these shoes but I wanted something a little sophisticated a little fun for like a beach dinner environment I'm very excited to eat there because I've been craving steak and I'm definitely getting some kind of steak tonight. That is the look. Let's go ahead and call our alto and head on over to Joya Beach.
I hope you enjoyed coming to Joya Beach with us. Meeting Brie, Brie is so funny. She is amazing, so sweet and so caring. Definitely check out Peyton's YouTube channel and Brie's YouTube channel as well. I'll put their channels down in the description box. It was really, really cool. The vibes at Joya Beach are just everything. It's a very like sexy place to go at night for dinner, like a, a night out, a date night out, or for a date, or even a girl's dinner. It's right on the water, there's sand. We ended up taking off our shoes once we got to our table and just chatting the night away. Um, before they got there, I was at the bar and I got a, what did I get, a mojito? And the mojito was blue, but it was delicious. Once we sat down, I ordered a French 75, of course, and that was delicious. Now let me go through the food because the food was hidden. Okay, it was hitting. I was not expecting the food to be that good. Oh, also I met a subscriber while I was there. Shout out to you girl. Thanks for coming and speaking to your girl. I love meeting you all. We ordered to start some octopus. The octopus was seasoned to perfection. Somebody grandma seasoned that octopus, okay? Because it was on point, it was delectable. Mm, the texture, the, the, the seasonings, delicious. If you've never had octopus, try it. Just try a little piece, like, it's good. And then we also ordered the crispy lobster tail and it had some, some sort of side aioli sauce. Let me tell you, that was the best thing. That was the best thing I ate at Joya Beach. The two crispy lobster tails, they're $30, not each, $30 for two totally worth it i would definitely go back and just order a table full of crisp crispy lobster tails with that sauce it was so good i ended up ordering um a second order because we tore right through those delicious for my main i ended up getting the skirt steak it was meh i mean it was good enough um it came with like some little finger potatoes but we also ordered for the table a side of mashed potatoes chef's kiss i don't know what they put in those mashed potatoes unicorn dust Jesus tears, leprechaun gold, I'm not sure, but they were delicious, okay? I would go back just for the mashed potatoes too. And we also got some asparagus. A1 experience with the lights of like downtown Miami, Brickell, Miami in the background, and you have the water just a few feet away. Some boats were out on the water too. It was really magical. We talked all night, we we toasted all night. We we just bonded and it was really really nice definitely check out joya beach i'll put all of the details to every place i went every place i ate everything i wore down below in the description box so make sure you check out that box my hair has been holding up pretty good like as far as my curls which i'm very happy about just put on a little lotion i'm going to show you guys my full outfit of the day which i've worn before because y'all know i'll be wearing my clothes and uh we're going to call it alto and we're going to go ahead and head out again to the Miami Design District to check out the Fendi Cafe again. This time, just, you know, my own monies. Because why not? Alrighty, let's go. Alright, you guys. So here is my look for the day. I am wearing this Alex NYC bodysuit that I got from Farfetch. They make the best bodysuits, all different shapes. They are super comfortable. I will link this one down below. I'm pretty sure it's still available. I'm wearing a medium. The Skort, yes, it's a Skort. Skorts are back. This is actually from Zara, and I bought this last year when I was living in Miami. I think I put it in a haul, and then I promptly put it in storage and completely forgot about it. It's actually shorts but it's a beautiful satin, kind of like a fuchsia pink. And I think it looks really nice. The shoes, I'm just gonna go with these Lino Mules because I wanna be comfortable today, a nice neutral. The earrings are from Jacquemus. The lip is a Fenty Unveil. For the bag, of course, since we're going to the Fendi Cafe, we're pulling out my sequin Fendi baguette that goes really well with this part of the skirt here. Definitely gonna drop by Fendi, see if they have anything like good. Your girl will probably buy something today. Like we might have a haul later on. Today's scent, 
I'm going to go with a mixture of Gentle Fluidity and Santal 33. So the Gentle Fluidity is very like girly, very sweet, very pretty, very dainty. The Santal 33 is very masculine. So we're only going to put about three sprays of that because this has a tendency to overpower anything you have on. That is the fragrance combo of the day. And let's head out. gonna go in Fendi. Of course. Of course. Darling, how can we not? So I just got back from heading to the Miami Design District and meeting up with my girl Peyton. We met up at the Fendi Cafe. I got to really check it out a little more. I ended up getting a Fendi cappuccino with oat milk. Delicious. It comes with like a little uh, cookie as well that was delicious also. And then I ended up just getting like a croissant with egg and lettuce and tomatoes and bacon and it was delicious like the food is actually really really good i had a good time and then we went into fendi of course kind of looked around a bit um i didn't see anything that piqued my fancy but peyton tried on some really cute uh like the fur wedge clear heeled sandals with like the turquoise f on the inside stunning they look beautiful on her feet i think she ended up getting those and a fendi bag as well and while i waited for her I popped over into Hermes ah! and I got a little something. Y'all, I've never been into an Hermes store. I don't know, I just get pretentious vibes, but 
I went in there and everyone was so nice. I went to the one in the Miami Design District. Everyone was super nice. I checked out the second floor and the third floor, which are the women's floors. Um, I checked out some of the fragrances and then I checked this out. You probably have already seen it if you've been looking close enough, but I ended up getting my very first Hermes Click Clack. That's it. That's all I got. It's not a bag. <laughs> <laughs> a bag wouldn't fit in this anyway, but I ended up getting a click clack. I've always wanted one and it's super cute So to put it on and take it off you kind of squeeze the ends together and then you twist the H and it unclicks I went with the small because I have a tiny wrist and it still does have a considerable amount of Movement with the small the medium fit more like my Cartier bangle, which is here which would slide a lot more. But I wanted to get this to stack it with this one. And it looks like a really good stack or I can wear it on the opposite wrist. So really happy about this. I think with tax, this came up to like $706. Really happy to have that. I've been wanting a white bracelet. Um, now that I'm in Miami, really I can wear white any time of the year. Like I wear white almost every day. Very happy with that purchase. I also went into Prada. Well, let's do an unboxing. Not really an unboxing, but an unbagging. <laughs> we're just gonna lift this little tab here. And all of the people in the Prada store were really, really kind and nice. Boop. So I did get a bag. I actually have this bag in a different color, but I wanted something purple. Can you believe it? I know. I'm a fan. Well, it's not purple purple. It's giving lavender, it's giving lilac. It's almost gray, but ah! isn't it cute? I don't even know if the real like true color is coming across, but it's like a very pale lavender lilac color. But what I love about this is the body is nylon. It looks a lot like the Prada nylon re-edition, but the strap is actually leather which is great instead of being nylon because I have this bag in white. I can no longer wear it because color transfer happened when I put it in a dust bag and put it in storage, but I'm gonna see if I can get it fixed. But the strap is nylon and it just got dirty so quickly and it's really hard to clean that cotton woven strap. This is leather and this is gonna be very easy to keep clean. And so I love this and I believe this bag came in at about 11. But if you want this bag with, with just the regular fabric, thicker strap, it's a little under 900 bucks. So very happy to have this bag. I've been wanting something, something this color to kind of match my purple-esque Bottega mules. So this is a great addition to my bag collection. I'm actually gonna make a reel right now because I wanted to make a reel using 50 Cent song she got a thing for that Gucci, that Fendi, that Prada. And every time he said a different name, put up the different bag. But then I couldn't do it because my other Prada bag is like destroyed. So now I have a new one. So now I can finally make that real. Probably already up on my Instagram. So head on over there and leave me three purple hearts and a few words and comments. Because I realized that when a ton of people just leave me emojis, like for some reason Instagram thinks that I'm being spammed and they suppress that post. Please leave me three purple hearts and also a few words. You know, tell me which part of the video was your favorite. You know, let me know you're coming from this video. So that is also what I got. So it does have silver hardware. It has that same little Prada like a key ring and inside it will fit a phone. There's no pockets or anything on the inside, but really cute, like everyday throw on and go type of bag. And it does come with this super cute dust bag. Now, when I arrived home, there was something waiting for me from my girl, Janae. Let me show you. Ah! She sent me this beautiful bouquet of roses, and baby's breath and fresca and i don't even know what else is in here but this is so beautiful and like i'm matching <laughs> my outfit matches the colors in this like this is so beautiful and she just told me that she was proud of me y'all i can't tell you i have some 
I'm going to cry. No, I'm not going to cry. I'm going to suck it in. I have some amazing friends. Like, I really do. This smells so good. So shout out to my girl, Janae of High Little Lux. Definitely check her out on Instagram, on TikTok. Check out her YouTube channel. Like, all of her content is A1 amazing. She is such an inspiration and she gonna make me cry. Ah, oh, so I'm putting this here on the table. Oh, it smells so amazing. Great, I don't have to buy flowers for next week because I have these. All right, guys, so I have a little bit of work that I actually need to do. I have to make some more stories for our brand, and then I have a virtual baby shower to go to. I'm not sure if I'll be heading out again later. I might. So I'm not gonna end the vlog just yet. We shall see. All right, guys, let me take all of these things up to my closet and we're gonna get to work i'm gonna go ahead and create this reel <laughs> while it's fresh in my mind and i'm gonna get it posted and then i'm gonna work on some brand campaigns story content and then i might go to dinner i might do a boat ride i'm not sure we shall see all right guys but if you are enjoying the video thus far please do give your girl a thumbs up i would love to get at least four thousand likes on this video it helps me out so much it helps to pitch my videos out to new people so that i can finally reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers this year if you're not subscribed and you watch this long you're digging me you might as well just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay in the loop with your girl like i would love to have you i would love for you to join the family all right i will check back in soon all right y'all so i did not end up going out I don't know why I look so orange right now, but I ended up going to a Zoom baby shower for my cousin and doing some work. And now I'm about to take a shower, y'all, and relax. I'm gonna put on my robe and I am going to wash this makeup off and I'm going to relax. I'm gonna order all the things I need to order from my house so I can do, I wanna do an Amazon home decor haul soon. And I also want to do a monday reset video but don't forget that you can check out beauty counters mask down below in the description box like the aha mask it got my skin together okay Boop. don't forget everything is linked down below and special thanks to beauty counter for sponsoring a portion of today's video make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe do not forget to click the notification bell so you're notified anytime i post a brand new video and I will see you all in the next one thank you so much for spending some time with me you guys let's chat in the comments I'll see you all in the next one bye guys